What could Pokemon on the Switch possibly look like? Today I'm asking that question, I'm asking you and I'm asking myself, and I'm also asking the general community. What could Pokemon on the Switch actually look like? Now this is going to be a video where I'm going to talk about specifically some different ways that it could look like, some fan-made images that people have made, some mock-ups and that sort of stuff, as well as upscaled versions of previous games of Pokemon and seeing which ones of these could work the best. Credit to all the images I use will be in the description down down below so you want to check any of these or you know any of these out on your own time go down there guys and i hope you enjoyed the video so let's get started from the beginning here shall we Now to begin with, we should also make sure to point out that this is going to be something different from like what we've had in the past. Now think about it this way, right? This is not going to be like the jump from DS to 3DS. Now what I mean by this is we won't be going from like a 2.5D sort of style over to 3D. Like it won't be the same jump here because we're simply going from one 3D platform to a slightly strong, actually largely stronger 3D platform. Now what I mean by that is that both the 3DS and the Switch can handle 3D based characters and environments, but the Switch is significantly stronger, it can handle harder, you know, loads and that sort of stuff of actual graphical fidelity and in increased, you know, graphics style and all that stuff, it can handle more. So assuming that the jump from the 3DS to the Switch will be the same as the one from DS to 3DS is a false assumption. You should not be expecting the same jump here, it, it won't be as big of a, you know, leap from one to the other because you know the sun and moon games in all honesty look pretty good if you actually remove the black outlines and you upscale the graphics which we'll actually come to in a moment Now the first version of what we could get I see happening is the upscaled graphics from Sun and Moon option. Now this is an option where all the we really get is characters and Pokemon and essentially the environment being upscaled versions of what we already had in Sun and Moon as well as Ultra Sun and Moon. This would make a lot of sense due to reduced you know, development costs, you know, this would help to the reduce that area of costs because you wouldn't be having to create another 800 plus Pokemon over and over again and honestly that would just be significantly more beneficial for them to, you know, lower the amount of time it takes to create the game and also the cost you know, of money to create the games will be actually significantly lower. Now, if you look on the screen right now, you can see what that would kind of look like. If you upscale Sun and Moon graphics, you get a pretty nice looking game in all honesty. Though I will say that I'll be totally okay with this and I'll be happy with this and I do like it. I would still prefer to see a brand new style of graphics of, you know, for the games. I would love to see something that's slightly better than this. Now, we already know that the Pokemon developers have stated, you know, several times already that they want to give characters more and more expressions and add more to the story beats and elements in those areas so you know having new styles of graphics up you know offers a lot of opportunity within those areas being able to actually you know work with graphics areas you know like the facial expression that sort of stuff to a harder extent and to a bigger extent would be way better with like a different sort of engine to work with and you know different sort of style to work with because sun and moon doesn't really allow for much of that it's very static ish you know there isn't too much movement in the faces it's very to the point and it's kind of disappointing like there is movement in the faces there is facial expressions but they're very limited compared to other games so what could something you know what could be something to be done to actually help within that area Now the next up one is going to be the Unreal Engine option. Now the Unreal Engine is one that has been rumored to be used for a long time for the upcoming Pokemon Switch games. It's been said that this is going to be used for those games and that's what they're going to be having to use to make the Pokemon Switch games, but I don't know if that's actually true. We don't exactly know as of yet, but we're essentially working with, you know, speculations here and assuming what could happen. But just simply looking at the different ranges of graphics that can be, you know, created within of the Unreal Engine, you range between something of hyper-realism, like you see in Pokemon Origins, the fan game that you can see me playing on the screen right here, you range between something like that, that has super high quality fidelity, great looking graphics, really, really, really good looking, but at the same time, too far off from Pokemon. And then you also have the other side of the, you know, spectrum, which is the cartoony style of something like Fortnite, or something within that area, which has that more cartoony aspect to it, which doesn't, you know, require it to look fantastic and realistic, but rather relies on kind of this fun, enjoyable aesthetic. Now, there is a game which I think could be used as good inspiration for the upcoming, upcoming Pokemon game, which I'll get into. 
So a game that I think would be great to look at for inspiration and style of graphics is Nino Kuni, a game that was recommended to me by a good friend by the name of Slow Speedrun, who thought that the Nino Kuni gameplay style would fit Pokemon as well. So I decided, to, decided essentially to look at, you know, take a look more into, you know, what this game is about and how it looks like. And I, I see that, you know, there is one of the games being on the PS3 and there's a new, newer one happening and that sort of stuff. And just looking at that, the newer one, so to say, the graphics are bloody beautiful. And even looking at the old one, the graphics there are also really, really nice. So, based on that, I can see that this game, Nino Kuni, has a lot of potential to be a great inspiration for how the graphics, you know, in something like Pokemon could be like and how I feel like they should be like. You know, I mean, it's like, it's a very similar approach that you take here, because looking at Nino Kuni, it offers a lot of possibilities for like, you know, speed of gameplay being better, because you wouldn't be relying on super high graphics, you know what I mean, like super, super high realistic graphics, which would require, you know, a lot from the Switch, and say you're relying on these like cartoony style graphics, or anime style graphics that are really, really nice, they still look beautiful, but they don't rely on the realism factor, which means they wouldn't be as much of a toll on the Switch. So you have that, and also you have the fact that it allows for a lot of facial expressions, which we already know is something that Pokemon is going more for now. They want to be able to work within that area. And I just have to say that if they go with these sort of graphics, we have to keep in mind that this is the first Pokemon Switch game, and they probably wouldn't be starting off their first game being something, you know, of this quality and this level, which is really a disappointing thing to say, but I don't think they would be going that far off and making something, you know, that, you know, that insane. Because honestly, look at Nino Kuni, that looks beautiful. Like, it's a beautifully well put together world. The actual graphics around the world look bloody fantastic and I just think it would be the perfect fit for a Pokemon style graphics you know game on the switch I just think it would work but I don't think it's likely to happen we do also have another option Now, we all know that a lot of people are expecting the Pokemon Switch game to be something like Breath of the Wild, which I don't think it ever will be. I don't think that's something we should be expecting and something that, you know, we should be assuming will happen. But I know a lot of people want to see that and a lot of people are assuming that's going to happen. Now, here's the thing. If they were to do that, we got to keep in mind that even though, like, Breath of the Wild looks beautiful, a lot of the stuff in the world that you see is kind of reused, you know, kind of assets. Like, they really were kind of, you know, scarce with their usage of, like, assets and stuff. It was kind of spread out in different areas, but the world was kind of so well put together and so well spread out that like that didn't really, you know, matter. You had a great world to explore and the graphics look beautiful and really approachable. Very reminiscent to Nino Kuni in my honest opinion, but kind of, you know, uh, more open, so to say, and larger in scale. Now, with Pokemon, I think you can expect similar graphics, you know, within that style, but not exactly like that. And don't expect the world to be as open and as large. That is very unrealistic for a Pokemon game. Pokemon still has to be kind of that streamlined kind of journey, you know what I mean? You still have to have the same kind of journey. Now, I know some people want to see an open world game. I'm personally one of those people. I also know there are other people who don't want to see an open world Pokemon game. They want to just have, you know, the same as always. And I understand that as well. I wouldn't mind, you know, keeping a you know, Pokemon the same forever within, you know, that kind of area, you know, having it streamlined to a point, you know, you start from one point and you make it to the next one. Like, I get that. That aspect is what Pokemon really is. You start from your hometown and then you begin your journey around, you know, the Pokemon world that you're within or the region you're within. That's kind of how Pokemon has always worked. It's never been this open up journey, like where you go wherever you want and it's, you know, you choose your own adventure type of thing. It, it never has been and it most likely never will be, which honestly is also very disappointing, but we never know what they could hold in the future or, you know, what they end up doing but so far that's what we had for the last like i don't know how many installments of the pokemon you know franchise so Honestly, the Switch game shouldn't really be something we should expect to deviate too far away from that. Maybe we'll be more open, but we still will be somewhat closed in. Like, maybe there's, there's going to be more, you know, to work with than, you know, in this single area. You'll be more open to explore it and not be, you know, forced to kind of follow this exact sort of, you know, get, like, mapped out, like, way of working your way around the region. Instead, you'll be open to work within different areas and kind of do what you want instead of just, you know, following this streamlined journey. Like, maybe there's going to be something like that. That would be really awesome. But again, we're straying too far away from graphics. Let's go back to a sort of graphics that I found uh, from a fan-made thing that I actually think look really, really nice. So I did actually end up finding one picture that caught my attention, and 
I really like the graphics in this picture. Now, I'll show it on the screen right now so you guys can see it. And I'm unsure who created this mock-up, uh, but I have to say that it looks freaking awesome. And I'm truly, like, stunned by how well put together this is. So, if you look at the actual image here, this is a kind of style that I would be really happy with. The environment is lush and vibrant. You still have grass to walk within to get encounters. The trainers are visible and general have a general, like, good vibe around them. You can see them well, so you wouldn't be able, you know, you wouldn't be too far away to the point where you wouldn't be able to, you know, actually notice them. Though, I would say the camera angle is something I don't like on this one. I mean, I know this is supposed to be just a mock-up, but if the camera was more like in a third-person position, like right behind the character, that would be way better, or slightly tilted above the character, that would be great, but I wouldn't want to have the same kind of style of the camera as Sun and Moon, because honestly, that would be something I would want to avoid. I want this game to have a third-person camera. I think most people want it to have like, kind of a third-person camera, and that's what I want to see. So, in terms of like positioning of the camera here, I wouldn't like this, but the actual world, the environment, this is the sort of environment I'll be really happy with like it's not so crazy to the point where it's impossible to happen But it's also like, you know, really like good enough to fit well Like there are areas here that can be worked on like some of the rocks can be you know worked around with some of the You know trees and stuff could also be worked with but in general This is the sort of graphics I would expect and I'd want to actually see in the Pokemon switch game now I don't know if this is something you guys agree with so let me know in the comments Just let me know in the comments down below guys. What do you think about this? Do you think this is what you would like to see? Just let me know down there. So yeah, that is that for this video, guys. I really would love to know your opinions and what you think about the Pokemon Switch game and what you think it would look like in terms of graphics. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. And once again, thank you so much for watching, you know, this video and all my videos, really. I really appreciate it, guys. It goes a long way and it helps out quite a lot. So thank you so much. And if you want to see more videos, feel free to subscribe. Leave a like down below on this one. Leave a comment telling me your opinions. And I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Have a great day and bye-bye.